in your hide and smoke again. Keep them high. Nah, 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 nah. My flow is in the pocket like Wallace. I got the bounce like hydraulics. 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 I got the bounce. Bounce like hydraulics. I got the bounce like hydraulics. I got the bounce like hydraulics. I got the bounce. Bounce. Bounce like hydraulics. here at uh, New Alm, Minnesota at the JNR Swoogle Terminal. It is Wednesday morning, y'all. And uh, I'm up here picking up my load, my craft load. About to take that down to uh, Illinois. Eight hours to get there. I'm not gonna make it there today. Damn, it's dark. There we go. Quick video right quick. This is a Q&A. My subscriber left a comment in one of my videos and he's just, he's a new driver and he was just curious to know, do I have any suggestions? So give me a few minutes. I'll bring up the comment. I'll read it, give some of my suggestions and then uh, I'll, I'll open it up to you guys so you can help them out what's going on this morning i gotta i gotta eat well i got a comment in one of my videos that a young man is getting his license he already got it but he's having a little bit of trouble finding which company that will take him because of his lack of experience now there is a lot of companies out here that will take you in my man and then you got other companies that you're going to need some experience out here companies some companies require about a year other companies like mom and pops will require you to have about two years the elite companies will probably require you to have like three years or more it depends on where you stay though you know because i hear some companies is not hiring out of some states like florida for example and i just found that out myself I had another commenter in my in my comment session tell me about that. Damn it, man, it's cold. Love your videos. So I'm having a bit of a problem. Finding a decent paying job. Just got my class A, 11-1-2018. No one will give me a chance because I have no experience. Do you have any suggestions? I guess I do. And I guess I don't. I only been with two companies, bro. To be totally honest with you. I only been with two. First one was with US Express and the second one is with uh, JNR Swoogle. Now, for a new guy like yourself, don't, don't take just any old suggestions from anybody. Not just from me, not just from anybody else, but do your research. I do these video series called Lockout Men Makes the Call. Season one and season two is already done. It's already in the book. Season three will be in January. Do your research, man. You know, with the lack of experience or at that time, the no experience, I went with a major carrier. Now, a lot of these major carriers out here will bring you on with no experience at all. You got, got US Express, you got CRST, you got New, I mean, you got England, CR England, you got Warner, you got Snyder, you got, um, you got uh, Pam, uh, Knight. So you got all of these uh major carriers out here that will bring you on with no experience at all you know what i'm saying so what you got to do is you got to do your homework and figure out which one of those companies 
will work for you. So you got to find out which one is uh, right for you, bruh. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be easy. It's definitely not going to be easy because there's a lot of companies out here that's also awful when you're coming into this game. You know, if if you're coming into this game just for the for the experience, getting with these companies will probably be the, the, the right fit for you. But if you're coming in here with expectations, it might not work. My suggestion is, is to not come into the game with, with high expectations because you will be sorely disappointed. If you're coming in this game with a high expectation of making a lot of money right out the gate, you're gonna be disappointed because some of these companies start uh, unexperienced drivers with, uh, with low CPM some of which you might get lucky and get get with a company that starts you off in the 40s. You want to just take your time and look around. There's a lot of, of things that you need to consider when you're coming into this game. So there's there's a lot of stuff to consider when uh, you, you come out into this game, man. Um, think about that when you do your research. Definitely go on the Glassdoor or Indeed and 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 you know see what other drivers say about about the company. Don't take that with a grain of salt either. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just use that as a tool. Uh, definitely make your calls to the recruiters and talk to them. If you ever get a chance, talk to a driver of a potential company that you might be interested in. Cause there's a lot of there's a lot of US Express drivers, CRST drivers, Swift drivers. You know, talk to them, get their experience on uh on what they on what they went through if they was a new driver. And yeah, I, I think that's about all the suggestions that I I really could think of right about now, to be totally honest with you. You know, you being the inexperienced driver, man, I mean there's plenty of opportunities for you. But um, you just might have to, you know, look a little bit closer, dig a little bit deeper, you know what I'm saying? And um, and you'll come up with something that you might like and be comfortable with. It's all about comfortability. I don't know if that's a word, but I like it. If it's experience that you're looking for, then there's a lot of companies out here uh, that's willing to give it to you. If it's money you're looking for, you might have to look a little bit deeper because like I said, a lot of these mega carriers don't pay inexperienced drivers all that much. Considering the fact that you also consider this, with any, experience, any inexperienced drivers that's coming into the game and that's going to a mega carrier, know this, that you're gonna go out with a trainer no doubt the training process is about at least a good couple of weeks and the pay sucks all right so i'm just saying though the pay do suck so be prepared to bring a lunch bro all right malik that's it brother man i i hope uh that works out for you man i really do appreciate the comment I appreciate the support, man. Yo, consider hooking a brother up with some coffee. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, yo. Again, like I said, I, I appreciate everything, man. And if you guys have any comments, questions, or or just want to talk about uh, anything, feel free to leave a comment in the comment below. Hit me up on Instagram in my DM, or just plain email me at lockoutmen at gmail. Dot com. So just plain email me, man, and I will definitely get back with you in a video. I'll probably give you a call or definitely I'll respond to everybody in my comments. So I appreciate the support and definitely keep up the comments, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to video. I mean, subscribe if you're new to this channel. Make sure you hit the bell and you'll get good content like this all the time. All right, this is lockout, man, and I'm about to go. Yeah, I'm already hooked up to my truck.
or to my trailer. It's time to go. I'm out. I think I'm gonna need backup. I think I'm gonna need backup. Give me that porky porky. Yo, this is LL Cool J. Cause baby, once I'm gone, I ain't coming back. But you gon' have to settle with another man. But when you realize, don't be running back.